All right, welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be showing you how to run the GoldenEye for the Xbox that never came out on the Steam Deck, and I'll give you, I'll give you a little bit of a bone this time and show you that I also had to Google it, found this Reddit thread, and dug for it a little bit. But it is easy to find, and I'll also put the link in the description for the Canary build of Xenia. I think that's how you say that, and this guide here. The guide was helpful, but it missed a couple things. So that's what I'm here for is to bridge a couple gaps, cause. I couldn't get it to run with this guide alone. So follow me in the description for this canary build and hit that like and subscribe button while you're going down there. This build is from nine hours ago at the time of recording, so hopefully this changes and becomes easier over time. But if you were one of the people in the previous video that said this was so tricky that you suggested a flat pack, <laughs> this might not be for you, but that's what I'm here for is to make this as easy as possible. Hopefully. So we're going to go into our downloads folder. I'm a little upset and had to take a break. Some wine. See that master? Ignore the Xenia master. We're going to extract into the same folder, auto detect subfolder, the canary build. And if you right click that exe file, which we're going to cut this folder first, we're going to move it into the emulation folder that emudex set up just to keep this kind of organized. And we're going to go back into that folder and take this file and add it to Steam. So we can launch it from Steam. Within Steam, we'll hit Properties to go to that file. We're going to make a few changes. We can rename it, and I will in a brief moment when you see that change. You don't need to change anything else here. One thing is go into Browse and just navigate to that file just to make sure it's got the right path. He notes in the how-to that that solved a problem for him. I, didn't, I did that, and I didn't notice any problems. If you just run it without changing Proton, it will not run. So make sure, after having renamed it like I have here, that you go and set the Proton version to the latest stable version. I'm not going to mess with the Bleeding Edge or Next or Experimental. The time of this, 7.05 is the latest. That'll likely change. After changing the Proton version, this uh, Xenia emulator thingy should run. Once it launches, it'll kind of hijack your mouse, so you'll lose mouse control with everything, but you can still use the touchscreen to close if you're quick about it. We're not going to be launching that directly anyway, that's just to get the game to work. Once that's launched, you'll go into that folder, and a configuration file now exists. You'll need to scroll about halfway down into the GPU portion of this file. Got like, multi-line turned on or something, this is a mess. And about 200 something lines down is a GPU equals all, that you'll need to copy Vulkan from these options and paste as the new value of GPU equals Vulkan. Make sure you hit save and close that configuration file. Now here is that, that thing that we downloaded earlier, that, that game. It is in my ROMs folder for emulation, Xbox 360 ROMs. There's like a ROMs inside of a ROMs. If we navigate all the way down, we see this ugly looking file with no file name. For a brief moment, we're going to rename this for Steam uh, ROM Manager purposes, goldeneye.xex. The file extension is important, so it recognizes that this is an Xbox game, but it's actually breaking for me. I couldn't get it to run by adding a file extension, so we're going to remove that later. That is important. I will say it three times. To make this prettier, I'm going to maximize this for you guys. We'll scroll down, and in Microsoft Xbox 360, we'll turn just that one on. Scroll down into the options here. And under Executable, we want to configure this to point to that EXE that we downloaded, not the script that you will likely see. So open this, hit Browse, navigate into your Home folder, Emulation. I'm blind. It was right there. We'll scroll down <laughs> go a long way here into Emulation. Eventually we'll get there into Xenia. Canary, set that exe file. Basically, this creates entries for each game that is like the executable space, the path to the game. And you don't need to change anything else, but here is the file extension and the reason we added it so that it will recognize it again here, goldeneye.xex. And make sure you save this parser since we made changes to this parser. Now when we go up and hit preview and tell it to scrape with generate app list, It'll grab the setup that we need for GoldenEye. Appreciate you very much. We can close that. At this point, we'll need to actually go back to GoldenEye 
and remove that file extension. No matter what I did, I couldn't get it to run with the file extension. I don't know why. Hopefully this will change in the future and this additional step will not be necessary. But for now, since I don't have Steam running, I had to highlight the file extension and cut it. You could just run Steam again, get your shortcuts back, and then get your backspace, backspace. Because I'm going to open Steam here anyway. And now that Steam is open, we can see we've got Xenia. Double check here. Sandy check that it's running 705. That's just the latest version. The time of recording, set it to the latest stable version for you. Time of recording. Same thing here. We need to double check that it's got the same Proton that we set for the other one. And we renamed the file to not have the file extension. This is my fix. I couldn't get it to run when it had the file extension. So click and cut. Oh, blast it. That's the window there. But highlight that file extension and cut it to remove it where it just says golden eye with no file extension. And that should work. To show you what you might see otherwise here, to give you an example, there's golden eye with no file extension. That's just how it came. The game did with no no.exe exe. You might download a different version. I'm double checking my sanity here. The file path looks good. But here's it with the file extension. And the other way around, even with it had the extension in the path and in the path there, I got that error. If you check the logs, it said like failed to load module, and then module is the game. It just listed the full path to the game. And it's like, what? So hopefully that helps you. If it did, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll likely be posting a video of just some gameplay, what this looks like, because it runs pretty good. I'll be playing this, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you again.